Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 5 of this video series. In the last part we had discussed about the SQL data reader and now we will be going to discuss about the SQL data adapter. So usually these kind of questions are asked in the interviews that what is the difference between the data reader and data adapter, when to use the data reader, when to use the data adapter and what is the purpose of using data reader when you, you will be using this and when you will be using the data adapter so you should get prepared before going to the interview this kind of questions uh, we already discussed about this data reader that it's or uh, it reads it used for reading the data only it's reads only and forward uh, only that means once you read a one record you cannot go back to the previous record and it works on the connected architecture data architecture like uh, if you disconnect close the connection or uh, you cannot you will not be able to fetch the data anymore so we already had discussed in a very brief or good manner in the previous video so if you have not watched go back and please watch this part 4 now we are going to discuss about this SQL data adapter so what is this SQL data adapter it works uh, as a bridge between your data set in the data source by I mean the data source is like uh, your database and by data set means it's an in-memory uh, capability of holding the data so what happens we fetch the data from the database and we need something to hold the data uh, on the server and or in memory so that is our data set so we'll discuss the data set later but for now let's uh, uh, remember this only what is data sets are in memory thing and inside the data set you can have one or more data tables for example if you're writing a query and you're uh, you have two queries you're selecting from two tables first you're selecting from employee and then you're selecting from departments and you need two different uh, data tables so you can use a data set inside a data set you can use two data so for now let's uh, it's okay so you should focus on this uh, we will we should focus on this data adapter what is the data adapter it's uh, work as a connection uh, bridge between the, your data source database and data set so it is usually you know uh, used to fetch the data and we can uh, do the other thing uh, what we can update the data source as well you can see we can query the data from the data source and we can fill that data into our data table in in memory things and if we update anything in the data table or data set that updation can go to the data source this thing cannot be happen with the data reader so this is the difference if someone asks you in the interview that okay what is the difference between reader and adapter so you can set uh, that this is the difference we can update the data source as well in the data adapter but we cannot update the data source by using the data reader but by mean the data reader we can only read the data but adapter contains a set of uh, commands like we can use the insert update and delete as well so i will be showing you so let's flip to the visual studio for this example all right so we are here in the sql this is our sql query so you can see that uh, it's just a simple select query we are fetching some columns from this employee table now this uh, let's repeat the code this uh, line is used to read the connection string from the app config and here in this variable we will be getting the connection string and we already discussed about the SQL connection in our second video that uh, what is SQL connection in the detail things now you can see we are opening the connection in that scope this connection will be available outside the scope the connection will be closed uh, implicitly now we have a query written here select uh, this 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 column from employee although we avoid the select query uh, like inline query usually when we are dealing with the adu.net because this can happen the sql injection if we use uh, you know this kind of queries inside update or usually especially when we are dealing with the, some dml operations so avoid that but for now uh, for the tutorial purpose i'm using this select query uh, instead of that you can make a store procedure we'll be doing that later for now okay let's go write the sql data adapter and name it as data adapter equals to new sql data adapter and you will see a few overloads here it will tell you automatically that what we need to do you need to pass a command 
and uh, connection. So this third overload I like to pass. Okay, so here I'm putting this query and my connection. Now we need to create an object of data set. Data set equals to new data set and this thing. So what we had discussed that SQL data adapter can fill the data into data table. And inside the data set we have a data we cannot we, we don't uh, you know us fill that data table directly we use the data set. Okay, now go back there and write data adapter dot fill a data set. Now your by only this line of command, one line of command, you push all your data that you fetch from the data source into the data set into in memory. Now whatever you want, you can do with that. So you might have you get the table uh, that name would be employee inside the data set. So let's just print so we can clear the picture more for each loop here in the data set dot tables and what is the table name so usually what happen here we can pass the zero index because there's only one query so what will happen uh, the your employee table will be going inside this okay and the other thing what you can do you can write it as like this employee Okay, so what I will be doing, I will be putting the zero here, and I have to convert this object into the data row. Let's make it as data row, and console dot write line. Let's print the first column. Okay, and see what is. It might be taking the employee ID. You will see the all the employee ID from one to eight. You can see employee ID, and further we can print the more things. Put the dollar sign in this row. Dash dash dash. Row one, that might be your first name. So let's just check this, and then we can proceed with the next step. Yeah, you can see it's fine. Okay. All right. So we already. Uh, we also discussed that SQL data adapter contains some SQL commands, a set of SQL commands. Like we can do the <coughs> DML command as well. Uh, so let's see this example from here. We will be creating this insert query. And I repeat again that we should not use this again. Uh, we should avoid this inline query. Uh, instead, we sh should use the SQL data storage procedure but the video gets long so that uh, I will create a separate video that how you can use this store procedure. Uh, for now let's uh, proceed with this uh, inline query. So what we can do, we can use this data adapter equals to dot insert command equals to new SQL command and in that SQL command you can write your insert query. And we have some more overloads for that, so I will be providing my connection as well. That use this same connection. This one. Now we have to provide the parameters. As you can see, that we have to provide some parameter at the rate, first name, last name, department, and the salary. So these are the field that are tax and virchar and virchar, and this is uh, decimal. All right. So I will be providing that. So let's write this data adapter dot insert command <coughs> your first name. Same like we have to copy and paste. Copy, paste, paste, paste for the first name, last name. Same for the department. <coughs> And for salary, we will change it as decimal and salary. Okay. Uh, 
And let's remove this property as well for now. Okay, it's asking for the size. Let's provide it at 10. So we provided the parameter as well. So we discussed that we can, whatever we will update in the data table, it will go and update the data source. For now, uh, we already done with everything here. Okay, and uh, now the next thing what we can do, now we have to create, update the data set. <coughs> For data set, we need to create a row. So let's make a data row. Data row, new row is equals to this data set. And what was the table name that is employee and we're creating a new row and we'll be adding the columns value. You can see in this new row, I'm assigning my value for the first name. Let's make my name, last name, my name, department is ID, salary is this. And now you have to update your data set. We are inserting a new record, a new row. So we'll be writing data set dot tables dot rows dot add new row. So we are in, uh, adding a new column, new record. That is why we use this add. Otherwise we could have some more things like we can remove and so many other functions we have. So we can explore it as later. But for now, let's use this add function. We are not removing any record. We are not doing anything. So let's add a new record for now. We can update, same, same like we are inserting a new record, we can update as well. <coughs> and instead of insert this ins uh, insert query, we can use the update query. Okay, for now let's, so we, for this line, we have updated our data set. Data set updated. But our data source is not updated. For that, we have to write a line as data reader, data adapter, dot update. And you see it will ask you few overloads that data set and source table. So we'll be providing the data set. This is our data set. And our source table name is this employee. And for making this, OK. Let's, and let's run this code. Before running this, I should show you that how many records we have, you see, from one to five. And when we run this, first what will happen, it will select the record and print all the records that are existing. And from here, we are inserting a new record, and that will be into our data set. And till here, we are updating our data set, and by this line, we are inserting our data source as well. Insert into DB this line and now I'm again writing this command to show you the difference and let's make it a console dot write line after update after update okay now let's run this okay we're getting the error on this data table option because I may know the reason Okay, when I'm filling this data set, I didn't provide the source table name. Let's provide a source table name and check this error goes or not. Let's check this, yes, it goes. You see, before uh, this insert command, we have five records, tell Charlie after update, one more record is there, my name, but ID could not be fetched. I, uh, there is another solution for fetching the ID, but it's okay, that means the record is inserted. Let's check this you see a new record is added. So successfully, we concluded that what is the difference between SQL Data Adapter and Data Reader. And we show an example that we can use the Data Adapter uh, by, uh, you know, by f for fetching the records from the data source and fill into the data table. And when we update the data table or data set, uh, the same updation can goes to the data source. So that's all. I hope you like the video. So if you really like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe. I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.